Hey everybody, it's about time I'm back on video. I've been sick for the past couple of weeks, which is why there's been no Misfits Market unboxing. So I wanted to go ahead and do this one today. I did get it delivered yesterday, but I've kept it kind of cold, so everything should be fine. And I'll tell you if any of this is my mistakes. If you have any questions about this, so Misfits Market is where they take kind of seconds of produce and fruit and vegetables and some different things and um, it's actually a really good price so I think it's about $35 for this big giant one this is the big um, thing of produce that they have and you can choose to get it delivered every week or every other week and you can also choose a smaller box they have a gift um, a gift certificate you can do too so I think it would be a cool holiday present so I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing some of this and let you see some at the top. And see, I like this. It says, eat delicious, eat misfits. And so it does have this packed in there, and that is recyclable. And there was a little um, ice container thing. So there's a lot of food in here. So we're going to take it to the side. And then if you guys have any questions, just go right ahead and ask. I'm going to sit this on a stool. Ugh. It is a lot of produce. <laughs> so, and it costs about $4.50 to ship it. So we, and everything in here is organic. That's one of the things I like. So this is a small head of cauliflower. And we'll look at this from overhead too. Um, it is going to be mostly seasonal produce. So since it's winter, kale. And these are two nice bunches of kale. They're not really long, large, but they're pretty fluffy and they look really, really good. Actually, you can kind of see that there. This one could use a little plumping in some water before I break it down, but that'll be easy enough to do. We have some things in these containers. I don't know what these are yet. And I think I need the scissors. Can you guys hear Max back there whining? Cheryl's feeding him cookies that I made in Zeus's holiday gift class. Hi, Norma. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm feeling better, too. As After I got it, I lost my voice for a while. Ooh, fancy whole tomato. That, I was not expecting that. There are some little marks on the top, and I'll let you see that. And actually, this is not wholly ripe. So what I'm going to do is put this in the windowsill, and I'm suspecting this is going to be one. So they packaged them like this so they wouldn't get smushed. That was very thoughtful. And see, that's a little bit of a soft spot. So what you'll find with some of this produce, if you like everything to be absolutely perfect, this is probably not for you. Since they are not personally delivering at Misfits Market, I believe Hungry Harvest has their own delivery people. So they deliver it. This one comes like, I think it's like either the Postal Service or UPS, it's some place like that. So it is possible that your package can get lost and it is possible that you'll lose it as far as like lose the produce if it comes a week late or five days late. But what you would do is then contact Misfits Market and they should refund you. I'm sure they have insurance on it. Ooh, I have two of my favorite winter vegetables. Do you guys know what these are? Anybody? Let's see if there's a little, there might be a little bit of a hint if I show you. You can almost see something like that growing out. And see, that's a little soft, so I'll be wanting to cut that off. And what it is, is it's um, celery root or celerac. And what's interesting is that's not actually the root of the celery plant that we eat, though it tastes just like celery. It's another variety. Um, and it's Oh my God, it's good in, as a mash, it's good in stews and soups. I've spiralized it and made like a chickpea noodle soup with it that worked out really well. Ooh, okay. And remember again, all this is organic. So I have some more sunchokes. And I'll show you 
some of these from up at the top. Let me sit some down here. Yep, Norma, you're right. Celery root. What do you guys usually make with celery root? Let me show you overhead so you can see. These sunchokes are just looking really good. I'm actually going to a friend's house later today, and so I wanted to see what I had because I'm going to make some sort of soup once I get there. Okay, so let's see what else we got in here. We've got apples, and you will notice that there are going to be some bumps, right? There's going to be some bruising, uh, <clears throat> and you guys can see that pretty clearly, but I'll show you from up above too. Um, sometimes these come and there's no bruising, but it's not always the case. So I've got four apples. Probably what I'll do is, is cut the bad parts off and put it in oatmeal or make a crisp with it or something like that. Um, ooh, these are some pretty pears. There's a soft spot here, which I don't think I really care about. Uh, and you've never used celery root? Yeah, celery root is kind of fun. Um, and I think just like celery adds so much flavor to soup. And I've been making a lot of soups in my little heated blender. So I've been chopping up celery and carrots and putting a little bit of oats and cashews and some some water and some bouillon in there and maybe a spice or two or an herb and just letting so in the hot blender it just heats up and then you can puree it right in there you could do this on the stove top or in your instant pot and then use an immersion blender but so what i've been doing and actually you know it would be kind of good we don't, I don't know what else is in there but we could do like a pear butternut squash soup with a little bit of um, garam masala would work. Um, apple and celery root I think would be kind of a nice soup, maybe even with a little bit of kale and puree everything together. And these are the harder bosque plum, uh, pears, they're not plums. And we've got some oranges. And I'll let you see from overhead one. I'm going to make sure we get everybody in here so you can see all of what I'm getting so that you can have an idea if this is for you or not. And it's okay if it's not for you. I've got a couple of um, garlics. Those are nice. Ooh. Ooh, I've got some fun stuff in here, you guys. I'm on my next layer, so... I just took out uh, another piece of brown paper that they had, so there's a whole other layer down here. And there's another, a couple of pears, two pears hiding down here, so I've got six pears <coughs> in total. And Max says, hello everyone. You know you can't be in Kathy's kitchen without Max being something, being whatever he is. And here's two more apples. And see, like this apple, doesn't have as many spots. But if you're looking for absolute perfection, this is not for you. Um, oh, these are some good looking onions. I've got four big onions. So, and we've talked about this before. One of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and break these down. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop them down all the way and then I'm gonna put the chopped pieces into resealable Ziplocs or whatever um, containers you like to use in the freezer. I like the Ziplocs because you can do them really thin and you can just break off. You can crunch it up and then break off exactly what you need to put in a soup and stew so you don't have to cut everything up right then. Um, I've got some tiny little potatoes. And I think these are some kind of purple potato. They don't look like red potatoes. So I'm curious to see what these will be like. Can you guys see that? It looks more purple than red. But it doesn't look like the deep purple potatoes, the Peruvian ones that I'm used to. That will make a nice little breakfast tomorrow. I'll make some hash. Actually, that with the celery root. And you could even do some of the sunchokes and onion. That would work out really well. I've got 
four lemons. And let's see, let's put those here. And do you guys know what these are? These are things that you don't see so often, too. And I'll give you a minute. And those are two of those. Oh, they smell good and earthy. So I think what these are are going to be the big black radishes. So this also, if, you, if you're not fond of the little red French radishes or even turnips or this kind of larger winter radish, what I find that's good to take that bite out is to go ahead and roast them. So you would, you would peel if it's like a winter one like this. You're not going to really eat the skin from this. Whereas on the little French red ones, you can just wash them and not peel them. Cut them up and roast them in maybe like a 375 oven, moving them around as you go. Okay, so those are new. And I have a ginormous spaghetti squash. So what I would like to think about doing with that, and let me see if I can make it where you can see everything, because that is the end, but that's, that's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot of food, you guys. Um, okay. I'm moving this all one way or another. <laughs> For $35, this is what I've gotten. Approximately. Here, let's put the... And put this like this. I think everything's sort of fitting in there. So everything is organic. We've got a giant spaghetti squash and usually this is by the pound. Actually I think most of the things that I have here except for the lemons and maybe the garlic are usually per pound. And celery root, I, have, I used to buy it at Kroger's and we don't have Kroger's anymore which they had it by the piece, right, instead of the pound. And I've bought one about this size at Whole Foods by the pound, and I think it was something stupid like 8 or $9. And I don't think it was organic either. The black radishes, the apples and pears, um, sunchokes, which you can't always get everywhere. The cauliflower is going to be pretty awesome because I could make a cauliflower sauce. So we could steam that with some of the garlic, maybe put in some rosemary and puree that up with either a little bit of water or non-dairy milk. And I could make kind of a creamy white sauce and I could put that over the spaghetti squash. So. If you haven't used spaghetti squash before, it's hard just like all the other winter squashes. But what happens if you cook it just right, if you undercook it, it'll be too chewy. And if you overcook it, the strands won't be as spaghetti-like, but what they will be is more mushy. So you can actually just put this whole thing in your Instant Pot and cook it that way. Or you could cut it in half and roast it in the oven. Um, one way you can do it too is you can actually cut it in slices like this, which isn't as intuitive, and get the seeds out and then roast it, but what happens is the strands are longer that way, if that makes sense. And Leti, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm about to butcher your name. Latia? Latitia? I'm so sorry, but this nice lady, whose name I can't pronounce, <laughs> says uh, she's in the grocery retail business and it's an excellent price for all that produce with it being organic. And I agree. Um, if I came out of the store with this for 50 bucks, I'd be pretty happy. Because um, sometimes even a small organic cauliflower can be quite expensive. If you do something like Hungry Harvest, they have an organic option and a non-organic option. And so depending on what area of the country you live in, 
you may or may not have access to Misfits Market or Hungry Harvest. You might have to use Google to find out what works and delivers in your area. I know Misfits Market is growing fairly quickly and I'm noticing every couple of months they've added a new state or two. So, um, <clears throat> so far this is the one I've been most happy with. I do notice that um, you know, I've because I've been doing these unboxings, more people have been getting them, and I will actually put up a discount code. They changed how they're doing the discount codes, um, so I have a whole new thing to give you and update everywhere, but you can get 25% off your first box. And again, it's like $35, but then you get $450 shipping. So you do, shipping is not added into that, but I still feel like this is a really great value. So I did have one person who their box got lost for a few days, so when it finally came to them, pretty much everything was bad. And so all you have to do, and I actually wrote an article on healthyslowcooking.com about are these boxes for you or not? Because they're for me because I don't care about these little imperfections. I honestly, if with the softness of this, if I lose that much, if I lose a third of this celery root, I'm still happy because I still feel like I've gotten more than my money's worth. Um, if you need things to be very perfect, if you don't ever want to refresh your greens before you break them down by refresh, I might just put the, soak them in water for like 20 minutes and let them really just poof up a little bit. And sometimes that's all it needs because again, I left the sitting out for almost 24 hours. So this is the produce the day after. And I didn't take it out of the box so that you guys could kind of see what's going on. Uh, do you have any questions about any of the things here? Uh, sunchokes you can use just like you would use any other root vegetable. And they kind of have a really nice taste to them. I like them a lot. Um, a friend of mine, Virginia Willis, the fancy southern chef, was visiting me and uh, when I was sick actually and made me just the sweetest, nicest little get well meal and she dug in everything and I had some sunchokes and I had some carrots and I had some potatoes and she made this beautiful mixed vegetable mash that was amazing and she took some maitake mushrooms and fried them in like an, uh, uh, well, sauteed them in an onion gravy and it was just delicious and so it was nice having all these things around um, again if if I knew I wasn't going to use all of this I could roast the garlic and freeze the garlic roasted in a paste that I could use in something else with the greens um, I've I've gone ahead and broken them down and just frozen them for smoothies before but like apples, you could saute the apples and freeze them. You can do a lot of things with this. You can also, if you're doing a misfit market, you can skip weeks and things like that, and you can do that with most of them. With misfit market, at this point, I don't get to choose what this is. It's all, all mystery to me, and I think that's kind of cool too. I like that. So anyhow, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. And and if you're looking for some recipes, don't forget to come by plantbasedinstantpot.com or healthyslowcooking.com. And Healthy Slow Cooking also has air fryer recipes, instant pot recipes, stove and oven recipes. So don't let the name fool you. And if you have any questions about this, let me know. I will come back and put the code in. And if you've used the service, and Moxie says hi, she doesn't want to be left out. Um, if you have any questions about anything, um, just let me know. Also, you can join my free private Facebook group, Vegan Recipes, Cooking with Kathy Hester. It's an awesome, supportive community and a great place to ask questions as well. Have a wonderful rest of your day.